all right so welcome back again so in this wonderful session we'll be trying to see how to download data using yahoo finance so in the previous session we saw how to retrieve information from finance.yahoo.com using yahoo finance and this was our workflow right so we are using y finance to access yahoo finance api and fetch data from there and let's see how to not just fetch the data but be able to download those data so i'll go back again to our workplace, which, is, which we already did, so we're going to import Y finance, so Y finance as YF as we did previously. And in case I want to fetch data, right, you can easily go with this option. So the simplest way is just is going to be the simplest method. It is downloading, downloading data, so downloading data. It's going to go like this. So Y, Y finance, right, which is what we have. Dot download. I'm going to pass in the ticker. So the ticker is these particular notes, these symbols, right? So we can just pick Tesla, we can pick a uh, Palantir Technologies. So let's pick Palantir Technologies from, or let's use Alibaba. Hey, yeah, Baba. Yeah, that sounds nice. So let's go with Baba. Because so Baba, right? We are using the same name that we have here, B A B A. So we can just go with this option. Alibaba. So this is downloading Alibaba. This is Alibaba. Right. So that's the ticker name. So just pass in the ticker name. And once you go with this option, it's going to download it. It's available. Right. So that's actually downloaded the data and it's already available. Perfect. Right. So you can actually use it. So this is from the beginning to the end. Right. Very, very huge amount of data. Right. In case you want to get one that is not available. Right. So in, in case it's not available. You can also see that it's going to show. So let's try one. If not available, not available. So let's use one like this. So why finance? Right, don't download. We want to use a ticker that is not available. So let's use. Uh, we don't have any ticker, but let's check if we have data breaks. Do data breaks? Yeah, it's private. Data breaks. Let's see the ticker name. So it's a private company so there is nothing like that so if i go back and i just do something like this so data breaks if it's not available it's not going to work right so data with no data form so if it's not available it's going to tell you that it failed to download but if it is available then it's going to download it right so after downloading the data you can now save it so let's save it so it's going to be saving the data so it's going to be like this, so why? So first of all, I can just go straight away with this option. So we had, the one that we did was Baba, right? Baba, so Y, F, download. Then I'll just go straight away with my Baba, for Alibaba. Then I'll just pass it. You can also add some parameters to it. So it's going to save it inside the Baba variable. Yeah, and now I can see this one here. So let's save it. So simple, this is the panda data frame. So to save it, it's very simple to do. I can just go with my data frame that I have, it's which I have already. If I check for the type of this, this is panda data frame, right? So I can actually save it straight away to panda data frame. But you go in baba dot two. I go with this. To, to clipboard to CSV to dictionary to Excel because of the data frame. I just go back to this CSV. I'm passing here my data. So let's go this. Baba dot. Okay. Let's give it Ali Baba data dot CSV. And now I'm just going to save it. So if I go back here, I check it out. It has been saved here. Right. Perfect. Now that is how to save. Download and save data, right? Let's say you have multiple tickets, right? And you want to save them. So this is for multiple tickets. Right, so in case you want to work with multiple tickets, it's very simple. It's just going to be like this. So to work with multiple tickets, just like this. Let's go with this option. So I have my wife dot right my tickets, not ticker tickets. Then I'll pass into this as a tuple the various ones I want to use, right? So I want to check for NVIDIA. 
I'll switch it for MDA, right? AMD, right? And then let's check for something like um, Tesla and then Google. So it's going to fetch all of these ones because I just converted them perfectly for us and now I can get them straight away. So let's save it to a variable first. Right? So let's go to this M tickets. So multiple tickets. Yeah. And now I can, this is going to be in the format of the ticker object. So I can, it's a dictionary, right? If I go back and I just do it, the type of this M tickets. Tickets. Consider this a dictionary. So since it's a dictionary, we can choose like a dictionary. So I can get all the keys from this. So M. So to get all the. the tickets. The key. So let's get all the keys. So it's going to be my M tickets. The tickets. The key. So this is a dictionary. So you put in all of them. So in case I want to access them. And just go back with the same thing here. So let's copy this one. Right, so I can get the entire stuff here. So copy this. So let's see, I want to get for for AMD, right? So AMD. So Intel AMD NVIDIA. I can just go straight away with this option. So AMD. Then I'll just go with this option. It's a dictionary, so you can treat it like a dictionary. I'm just going to pass in here into the same thing that we have there, right? So AMD. And now I can just get my AMD. I can just go with my historical. History. Yeah, I've gotten our data back. Right? So that's how to work with multiple tickets, right? Now, in case you want to save all of these data, right, you can actually look through them and save them because it is coming as a data frame. And in case you want to save them, you can just go with this. So let's save them into a file. You can just go with this. So for data in my mtickets.items, right? Remember that if I go with this, it's a dictionary. This a dictionary, right? So you can actually look through them and then get the data. So you can get the key. So key and a value from this. Right? And I can now save the entire stuff, right? So I'll be picking each one of them and then be saving them as I want. Right, so as I said, this is a dictionary, right? So since it's a dictionary, we get a key and a value. So I can now just print. If I want to get only the keys, I can just print only the keys. Okay, I've got an NVIDIA, AMD, Tesla, and Google. In case I want to save them, I can just go straight away with this option. Right, simple saving is going to be like this. We have the value, dot historical, history, right? And then I just go with two CSV. Right, and then I'll just pass in the name of it. So let's use the name of it like this. So using a string. Then I'm going to pass in back again to here. Yeah, and I'll just pass in the name. So let's give the name so ticker underscore, right? Then I'll pass in the the key. The key is the name as you could see. Then I'm just going to go with dot csv, right? So we're going to get the name, the ticker, the name, which is these names, and then the dot csv, right? So, so perfect. If I go back and I check it out, so we have it here, right? You know, consider that we have it here. So let me refresh it. Yeah, so we have AMD, right? For AMD, for Google, and then this is for which one again? for Tesla, right? Perfect. You can also give it a different name and it's still going to work. So that is how to work with saving of multiple tickets, right? That is one of the ways. The other way is that is going to be the next alternative. This is method number two. To download and so this download and then save multiple tickets. So the simplest way is go with this. You have your ticker list, so ticker list. 
have a list of tickets that I want to save, right? So in that case, it's going to be the exception. Pick it bigger. So this is going to be my list of tickets. So let's give it some ticker names to be using all the packages. We have NVIDIA, let's go with Tesla, let's go with Meta, I don't know whether Meta is available, and let's go with, mm, let's use something different that is totally different from what we have. Okay, let's use, yeah, Snow, Snow, Snow Lakes, right? Snow. Perfect. We have, we have Nvidia, Tesla, Meta, Snow. Right. Now, to be able to get all of the data, I just do it for ticker in my ticker list. I'm going to fetch them, download them straight away. So let's go to the data. And this is going to be my Yahoo Finance. Download. Passing the name of the ticker. Perfect. You can also specify to group by in a period. So let's specify the group by. So group by. Let's go by. Which is going to be a lot of features you can pass within the parameters you can pass within the download function, right? So let's go to the ticker. And now we just move on to the period. So let's pick. Period of let's say one month, and then you can specify an interval right between them. So, interval is going to be let's say one day. Perfect. So, this is going to download the data, and after I download it, I'm going to fetch that particular ticker, so, which is going to be the ticker. So we are using a particular ticker name for that. But that's why we had a ticker. I'm going to equate it to ticker. Coming from this ticker here. Now, the next thing is... So the reason we are adding this one is that this is a film that doesn't contain the name of the ticker. So we are adding this one so that it assigns one color to a data set for the particular ticker or the symbol or the company name there. Right, that's why we're using it. So this is to... So this is supposed to add the ticker or company name as the column to the data, right? That's the good understanding. Then we can now save the entire stuff to data to CSV. Then as we did above here, we can just copy the same thing here. So we fetch the name there. So it's going to get our data to fetch that particular name there so this is going to be now the ticker so let's not call it ticker so I don't confuse it so let's call it just say data right so, so now it has downloaded all of them perfectly very fast and now the data is here so if I go back and I check it out if I refresh it we have data for meta data for nvidia for just for snow snow lake for Tesla right very good so that's how to fetch historical data to download it and to see multiple trackers using Yahoo Finance. So thank you for watching this tutorial. In case you have any question or contribution, you can put it in the comments below and let me know your opinion about the audio. See you another time. Stay blessed.